Oh, our C motors are definitely getting a bit out of hand. And I've got a big one. So for the cheaper, easier to assemble electric superchargers so far, we've been using Castle Creations 2028 motors. These, of course, we have the LMT3100 on the sledgehammer and the LTD behind me. But, you know, that one's not really feasible to re reproduce. But this, up till now, was sort of our gold standard, right? I mean, it's, 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 it's a, you know, it's a 20 horsepower motor. And in our last dyno test, we actually got 34 horsepower pushed through it to make, you know, 400, and what was it, like 453 rear wheel horsepower? Rear wheel, ho rear wheel, rear wheel horsepower, Simon. Rear wheel horsepower. Can you say that? Rear wheel horsepower. You're freaking me out, cat. We got 453 wheel horsepower. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's pretty good. The compressor was way into choke. We found out also that the compressor is actually closer to an, a Vortec S trim than a Vortec SI trim, which did explain an awful lot. But we found the magic of the pulleys really, really paid off. But guess what? Castle made a bigger motor. And here it is. This is a Castle Creations 2535 680 kV 38,000 RPM motor. This thing is huge compared to the 2028. I mean, there, there's no contest, and this thing is a freaking work of art. In fact, let's take some measurements just to compare. The big boy is 2.7 inches in diameter. The 2028 motor is roughly 2.24 inches in diameter. The big one is depending on where you measure it from, but here I'm getting 5.8 inches long versus 4.4 inches long. Now, what's interesting is that this motor is actually even larger than the far more expensive 53 horsepower motor that's made by LMT that's in the sledgehammer. This thing is 3 eighths of an inch in diameter larger, and it's technically longer because while the lengths are almost exactly the same, the length on the LMT motor also includes a cooling fan, which this does not. Now, the diameter difference is fairly substantial, not only size-wise, but also power and RPM-wise. That allows this thing to generate significantly more torque, but it also limits its maximum RPM. And the reason why it limits its maximum RPM is because the rotor contains the magnets, right? And as the diameter of the rotor increases, so does maximum torque, but at the same time, so does the centrifugal force that's trying to rip the magnets off the rotor. And that is actually the limiting factor on the maximum RPM that a motor can see. So it's a trade-off. And that is why this is ideal for the P2 setup, but not ideal for the sledgehammer, which is a direct drive unit. Again, with the P2 setup, we have the pulleys, the magic of the pulleys. I only expected, I think I said it was a 10% improvement uh, changing pulley ratios. But we practically doubled our power output going to a larger motor pulley. And again, that's one of the beauties of the P2 setup over the sledgehammer. Electrically speaking, this is a four pole motor, just like the 2028. By contrast, the LMT motor is a two pole motor. This one is 680 kV while the 2028 is 800 kV, which means the 22 tooth pulley is probably going to be perfect for this one. It's gonna put it right in the sweet spot of the uh, P2 supercharger. There's one thing I do wanna say about this motor. Right now, you can only get it from Castle's website. I, I'm not a Castle affiliate. I don't get any funds from them. I'm just really excited about this freaking motor. But that's the only place to get it. You can't get it through any of their distributors. You have to go directly to them to get it. and I could put a link in the description below. I get nothing from that. There's no percentage, nothing comes to me. But I'm really excited to test this. So we're gonna be putting this thing on one of the P2 units that I have kicking around here. We have most of the materials here that we need. We have a couple of things on order, but that's coming up real soon where we're gonna test one of these units. But then we're gonna start doing some compound testing, both with the sledgehammer and the second P2 unit. It's gonna be all kinds of stuff coming up, so definitely subscribe if you haven't. And you know, this whole video has been a moment of Simon, but here's your moment of Roger. Thanks.